we watch the leaves fall and the days get shorter. We're also heading towards Halloween. Every year on October 31st, thrill seekers would make their way to haunted houses looking for spirits, ghosts, supernatural, and whatever else you could think of. Hi, my name is Mena from The Foolish Couple. And in today's episode, I'm going to talk about fear. Halloween is really about being scared and facing your fear. So what is fear? I think we all know what fear is, and we all have our own fears. But have you ever counted how many of your fears actually become real? In other words, most of the fears came from our imaginations. What I'm saying is that fear, which stands for fantasized events appearing real. As humans, we are fearful of different things. Andy's afraid of spiders because he watched the movie Arachnophobia, and every time he sees a spider, it reminds him of the movie. I'm afraid of snakes, even though I've never touched one or been bitten by one. It really is just irrational fear. In general, fear really do us no good, especially this one. The fear of missing out. In fact, this FOMO syndrome has become so widespread that it has become a social phenomenon. The Oxford Dictionary even put the word FOMO into dictionary in 2013. So you can see FOMO is a real thing and it is affecting our society in a big way. Wikipedia called FOMO a pervasive apprehension that others might be having, rewarding experiences from which one is absent. It is a society anxiety that you need to know. Whatever it is, the incident happened. Many blame FOMO on technology, but in my opinion, the fear of missing out has been happening forever, way before the internet came along. What I mean is, even before there was Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, we've always had news. People would read the same piece of news from the newspapers in the morning, listen to it on the radio, and then watch the same darn piece of news again at night watching the TV. And the trouble is, 99% of the news has nothing to do with you or me. It does not impact you in any way whatsoever, and most of the time, it creates negative emotions in us. Let me give you an example. Let's just say that in the morning, you read about a plane crash. Tragic, right? Sure. And that morning, you are also heading to the airport, taking a flight to Hawaii for vacation. How do you think you would feel that day during the flight? Fear of the news stays with you even though you would have been perfectly fine not knowing that piece of news at all. And you, have been, you would have been perfectly happy, confident, and feel safe. Nowadays, news expands to sports scores, reality TV, the Kardashians, social media posts, the election, chats, pop-ups, notifications, and whatever else you could think of. What this fear of missing out is doing to us is that it is causing us massive distractions, affecting our productivity, giving us negativity. Following other people's lives is costing us our own lives, while we could have spent that time and energy on improving ourselves, working on our own dreams and goals, we are wasting our time and energy in watching someone else live their lives. And just to add to it, distractions can be a real life-threatening problem. Texting and driving, for instance, can cost you and someone else's lives. So just remember, the fear of missing out is fantasized. It is not real but it does cause you to miss out on your own life. So what can you do to save yourself from FOMO? Well, first thing, just like AA, Alco Alcoholics Anonymous, you have to admit that you have a problem. You have FOMO and you want to own up to it. Once you are aware of your FOMO, then you can work on yourself. And there are a variety of things you can do. My phone gives me a summary of my screen time every week, so I can track how much time I spend on my phone. At one point, I was so distracted by WhatsApp, I had like six different chats going on with people from three different time zones, so it's pretty much beeping all day long and all night long. 
I got so annoyed with myself and how much time I spent on it. Eventually, I just turned my notification off and immediately I feel relieved and happier. These days, I look at my WhatsApp chat twice a week. I still know what I need to know, but I just don't get distracted all day long. You can also turn off the notifications to your email, social media, whatever else you could think of. I guarantee you that you won't miss out. You will feel much happier, calmer, and much more productive in your work and in your own life. As always, love what you love and live what you love. Remember to leave your questions and comments below. Happy Halloween!